So what if I had the reaction calcium plus HBr, this is an aqueous solution, and it yields CaBr2 in aqueous solution plus hydrogen, which is H2 gas. So this is the reaction. And what if I asked you, I want you to do three things. First, I want you to write this as an ionic equation, net ionic equation. And then uh, I want you to write the half reactions, the redox half reactions. So the easiest way to write the half reactions is to first start by writing the ionic equation. And remember, we talked about that. We did a lot of these kinds of problems, actually, back when we worked the, um, the uh, net ionic equations and uh, when we were doing acid bases. So what you do is, for the ionic equation, what you do is you go species by species and you go and you break it apart if it's in water and you go figure out what the charges and everything is going to be. Well, this is a solid. It's not an aqueous solution. Okay, it's just some calcium powder. So that just stays the same. C-A-S. Okay, but this HBr, this is an aqueous solution. And there's a 2 in front, so I need to carry that. Hydrogen always wants to have a plus charge. So I'll put this in aqueous solution. This 2 applies to the Br, to the bromine. And bromine, if you look at the periodic table, it's always going to want to have a negative charge like this. Okay? So that's on the left-hand side of the equal sign. On the right-hand side of the equal sign, I have CaBr2. So I have one calcium. And the charge on calcium from the periodic table, if you look at it, is plus 2 aqueous solution. But here I have Br2. There's two bromines, so I need to carry that with a 2. Br. Bromine always wants to be 